Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today I'm going to be talking about a 160 by 160 pixel graphic known as the Facebook profile picture. And this may not seem like a big deal, but I see a lot of people in businesses, especially sometimes, get the design of the profile picture wrong. And so the whole key is simplicity, contrast, and a few other key factors that I'm going to talk about in this video. All right, so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the Design Course Facebook page here and the profile image is right here. This also is known as the cover photo and I'll do another video sometime down the line regarding this and probably also a full one where we talk about doing a full uh, I guess you could say visual identity branding for Facebook, which would encompass this and this piece together. But today we're just going to focus on this uh, cover, or not the cover photo, but the profile picture. And as we can see, I, this portion right here, the viewable dimensions are 160 by 160. And so I know this because... I paused and I loaded this up real quick. This is, uh, at the time of recording this, these are the specifications. And now, depending on how late or, or in the future that you've watched this, this, these details may have changed. So it's always a good idea to go to Google, type in Facebook cover photo or Facebook profile picture dimensions, and you'll find the official docs here. So as it stands, uh, this is displayed at 160 by 160. And the photo upload must be a minimum of 180 by 180 in terms of size so they'll scale it down to 160 by 160 whatever you upload so uh, you can upload anything as long as it is a perfect square that makes uh, the best results so as you can see here the one that I chose uh, for my business which is designcourse.com is the DC letter mark and this is called a letter mark logo because this is a D and this portion is a C and it creates basically a unique symbol that's somehow relevant to the business so I chose it because in terms of a company's visual identity I this is the most simple and I would say relevant depiction of the business visually so if that makes that may not make too much sense to you but uh for instance think about nike for example when you think of nike what do you think of right off immediately immediately at the top of your head without any thought it's the swoosh right for almost everybody it's going to be that little swoosh mark and so they put that thing basically in all of their display advertising you will see that and that's because they want to create a well they not want to they did they created a a very unique type of symbol that people can immediately identify as being Nike okay and so this is the same approach that I've used here for designcourse.com on my Facebook page and so when it comes to like if you have a business for example and you have a name I uh, and you have a logo you have to determine you know do you want to put the full logo here do you want also the text because if I go to designcourse.com and I recently just changed this up, by the way. Uh, you'll see that I have the full logo. So why didn't I just put the full logo when we have a lot of space right here in and of itself? Well, the reason being is look how small it gets scaled down. So that same picture that you upload for the cover or for the profile picture will be scaled down to this size and it gets even smaller than this. And I'll show you where if we go over here. It even shows up smaller right there with uh, all your pages. So if you were to have text in here, chances are you're not going to be able to, to read it. It's going to be indiscernible. And so the most, the, the most common size that people will see is in their feed. So this is the most common size. And so that same size can be seen over here when you make a post like right here. So this as well, uh, if you're going to have a full name, like like, if I tried to stuff designcourse.com in there, it wouldn't be identifiable. It'd be all messed up and just ugly looking. So, I uh, real quickly just for the fun of it, I'll go ahead and critique. I'm gonna type in some just some random business names or random words, and hopefully business pages will appear. I uh, 
and I'll just critique a few just so we can get an idea of what is effective and what is not. So uh, I'll just type in tool. Okay, so tool, they probably have like an album cover. I wasn't really thinking of a tool set or whatever. Tool Room Records, they have some type of uh, logo design. And also, if you have a business that's based around your name, putting your, your a physical photo of yourself, that's perfectly acceptable because you are the brand in that sense. So that's fine. Uh, let me type in some maybe ones that I, some big name uh, type of ones like Adobe. Uh, very simple. You're going to be able to uh, discern exactly what this is when you see it in your Facebook feed. Um, Candy Crush Saga, that's kind of like an icon that they have, probably the launcher icon. Uh, let me try to come up with some other ones here. I mean, th these are all pretty decent. Although this one, I would say definitely kind of is not. Uh, you look at it. Yeah, you can read, you can see it when you <laughs> view the full image. But I definitely wouldn't advise against putting all this text in there. Just because, look at it, it looks like a, a big crumbled mess. You can kind of, kind of tell uh, that it's a cat. But when people are scrolling through their Facebook feed, you know, this becomes just kind of a blur, really. So that's why you, in the end, want to choose something that is simple. And so how do you create one? All right, well, I'm... Most of my regular subscribers and followers here on YouTube, I mean, you guys don't need to watch this because uh, knowing how to, to save an image or whatever, that's 180 or 180 or whatever by 180 is fine. You guys know that off the top of your heads already, but this be might be reaching people who never touch Photoshop or Illustrator. So if you guys have that access to the program, uh, all you do is just go to File New. And I do like to use at least 500 by 500 for the pro profile picture reason being if someone comes uh, to your page and they click on this graphic right here uh, it's nice just to see a full size of it like this otherwise if you click on this you're gonna get a, a tiny little image that's in a size and it's just it doesn't look good in my opinion so I like to use 500 by 500 and so very simple to specify here in Photoshop pixels of course over here 500 by 500 resolution 72 that's for web and that's what we're using and background con contents you can by default set it white I always have mine at transparent and then put in whatever you're going to be putting in in here obviously and also pay attention to other design not I mean it shouldn't just only be simplistic and relevant you should also pay attention to all the other important design aspects such as contrast is there a lot of contrast so like for mine Yes, you can see very clear there's a, um, a dark blue background and, and uh, kind of desaturated a bit and the white logo. So there's a lot of contrast. You can see that. Is there white space? Is there margin and padding between whatever type of object it is that you have in here? Uh, a lot of people, our new designers at least, get that wrong. Like they'll, A lot of designers, for example, they would take this and they would kind of like maybe put it way too close to the edge and try to make it real big but then you don't have a good solid uh, white space around it and, and that's bad for just visibility so you do you know design whatever you want in here and then just save this file save as I uh, I like to do safer web and always save as the actual PSD obviously uh, if you ever want to edit it uh, JPEG's fine, PNG 24 or 8 is fine as well. Uh, you don't really have to worry about quality or file size too much since you're uploading it. So just use like a JPEG and stick the quality up to, to 100 and then save it. Very, very simple. What if you wanted to use Illustrator? Like say for example your logo you want to use or your letter your icon or whatever is in Adobe Illustrator file. Well, file new, I specify pixels. Same thing, so like 500 by 500, and RGB, because we're not using print, screen, hit OK, Control or Command 1 dot Mac, and then do whatever you're going to do in here, and then you can go do the same thing, file, save for web, and this large window will show up here, and specify you know your JPEG settings over here, and save it, and then of course, 
over here, edit profile picture, and choose from photos, and you, my friend, are done. So that is how you make an effective prop. I was going to say cover photo again. No, profile picture for your Facebook business page. All right, so I know that wasn't a very exciting tutorial for most of my followers, but I... Uh, I was busy today. I was busy doing this. Um, I just changed everything up here, and this is going to be loud if I click it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and check it out, though. Um, the video, at least, something I launched. Uh, I'm getting ready to launch the premium course uh, or subscription service, rather, which includes both of these projects. But yeah, these pages don't exist yet, so you just click on it and nothing happens. Uh, I'm going to be getting these knocked out very shortly. But yeah, check out the forms at designcourse.com. Go ahead and, uh, female Viagra, um, introduce yourself in the forums. I try to make it a point to respond and say hi to everybody. And yeah, it's free, of course. So anyhow, I, I'm doing a video tutorial, or I'm attempting to do a video tutorial every day of the year of 2014. Today is May 15th. I have no clue how many videos that is. It's like 140 or something, and that's how many days we've had. So I've been pumping these out like a crack addict. But yeah, we have fun. So yeah, I I subscribe here for sure on YouTube if you haven't, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.